Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another State of the Market. State of the Market for the month of April. So we got some good things that have been happening here in the real estate world that we want to share with you. Uh, we're going to go over the different sectors and cover the interest rates a little bit, see what's going on with those. Those always seem to be a big uh, topic when uh, everybody's talking real estate. So uh, we hope everybody's doing well. Again, thank you so much for watching another episode of State of the Market. I'm Scott Zano, Scott Zano Realty Group and Keller Williams uh, Luxury Realty. Uh, coming back at you one time, one more time here from the, my Centerville office. So let's jump right into it and get into our screen share here. So what we're going to do is go right into our sectors, okay? The first one is our median sales price. So for the month of April, the median sales price rose quite a bit, 690,000. Uh, when we go back to just March, it was 650. So in one month, it went up uh, $40,000 as the uh, median sales price of uh, a piece of property here on the on the Cape. All right, so back in February, it was 629. In January, it was 610. So since the first uh, three or four months, it's gone up considerably from 610 to 600, excuse me, $90,000, 690,000. That's a gain of 40,000 from last month. So when I hear people say that they wanna wait until the interest rates drop a little bit, how much savings are you gonna get by waiting versus the cost of paying more money for that same house. In this case here, it's over $40,000 just in one month. Let's jump right into homes for sale, which is our active listings. So this tells us as real estate agents, how many listings are on the market. Now this includes land, condos, and um, residential properties, 495. So that is for the month of April. So for March, it was 498. So we actually just went down just three properties. So I would almost consider that a push. We have as much inventory in April as we had in March. When we go back pre-COVID, March of 2020, right? We're sitting right over here at 1,960, uh, 1,986 units. And you can see ever since COVID, it's, you know, the inventory has just been extraordinarily low. At one time, it was down to 361 units uh, back in February of 22. Uh, we're not too far from that. We've gone up a little bit, but we got a lot of ground to cover. So any uh, folks out there that are thinking about selling, um, this screen right here uh, says it all. Uh, low inventory means more buyers looking at your property and more offers and uh, more multiple offers and higher offers which we've been seeing, uh, which I'll get into in a little bit here uh, with you. Let's talk about days on market. This is tells us how quickly properties are going under contract. So for the month of April, we were at 10, right? And for the month of March, we were at 16. So properties are going under contract uh, about six days quicker than they were back in March. So when we go back to February, we were up as high as 30. And I thought maybe, you know, that number was going to keep going to maybe 40 or 50 um, days on market. But in fact, it went the complete opposite in March and it dropped to 16. And then for April, we were at 10. So, you know, in my opinion, this screen here is just telling us that properties are going on the market and they're selling within the first few days. All right. The average is 10. So if you put your house on the market, will it sell, sell in 10 days? Um, if it's priced correctly, if it presents itself uh, properly, and if it's promoted correctly, meaning exposure, right? You need to put exposure on your property. You do all three of those um, in a nice uh, way and form, uh, you'll get um, offers on your property. Um, I have We have buyers that we just can't find houses for. And when we do find out house, uh, we put offers in. But unfortunately, the last few we'll be getting uh, outbid. Um, and many of these properties were just on the market for the weekends. Um, and many of them have, uh, you know, eight, 10 offers, um, of which surprisingly, most of them are finance. But I think you're going to see more cash coming into the Cape as time goes. But 
that's just kind of been my experience the last couple of weeks with some of our buyers. Um, and so we're desperately always looking for houses for our buyers. So if you're a seller, think about putting your house on the market. Please keep us in mind. Perhaps we have a buyer for your house. Let's talk about months of supply. So this tells us as um, agents, you know, what type of market we're in. So we've talked about this before. So anything from four to five months or less, that's a seller's market, right? And anything with say five or six months of inventory, that is a neutral market, right? And then anything with six months or higher of inventory would be a buyer's market, right? So we've been in a seller's market for a long, long time. So today we're sitting at 1.6 months of inventory. Last month, we had 1.6 months of inventory as well. So it was kind of a push from March to April because inventory just really didn't climb that much. In fact, it stayed about the same. But when you go back, when was the last time it was uh, a neutral market or a buyer's market, Scott? And we have to go all the way back here to, I'd say right about here. April of 2020 had 4.7 months of inventory, which is just right on the brink of a neutral market. And ever since then, We've been just bouncing along the bottom of the ocean floor here at 2.3, 1.5. And today we're sitting at 1.6 months of inventory. So what that means is if no more inventory came onto the market, we would run out of uh, homes uh, in 1.6 months. All right. Let's talk about your percentage of list to sales price ratio. Uh, this one is uh, kind of an important one. Because uh, this one tells us how strong offers are coming in um, when they're listed on the market. So your list to sales price ratio. So let me see if I can get it to come up. It's thinking a little bit. So what I came up with while it's thinking was the month of April, it came out to 100%. So if you put your house on the market uh, for a million dollars in the month of April, then you should have expected to get about a million dollars for your house. Uh, in the month of March, it was 98.7. So if you had that same property on the market in March, then it would bring uh, an offer of about $980,000 or so. So what that tells us is the uh, offers are getting stronger, right? The list of sales price went up. And the fact that the days on market went down, that's telling us that uh, there's lots of buyers out there looking and the time that it's spending the time that your property is spending on the market was reduced by six days, all right? And the other thing we want to just touch base on real quick is your uh, percentage of uh, median uh, per square foot of um, uh, new construction. Uh, what's the uh, uh, price per square foot? 439,000 is what it was in April, and it was 422 in March, so it went up a little bit. Um, Right there, 422 to 439. But you can see how the price per square foot has consistently gone up since January of 2020. It was only at $271 a square foot. Today, we're at $439 a square foot. All right. So um, every um, month, I've been doing a new health score, right? And so last month, we were at a 8.3 for March. And for this month, I'm going to actually bump it up, despite what you hear on the news, uh, to 8.5. And the reason for that is inventory is still remaining low, right? Uh, we're still only sitting at 495 units. Uh, homes are going under contract quicker, right? So that means that there are buyers out there looking for properties. Um, and the third reason that I bumped it up is the foreclosure count is still extraordinarily low. So uh, those are the three reasons why I bumped it from 8.3 to 8.5 for a health score, which I think is fantastic. So for all you sellers out there that are thinking about listing your property, now is the perfect time to list. And for all you buyers out there that are thinking of buying, uh, we're going to talk about the interest rates now and uh, see where they're heading. So what I want to do is just go ahead and share my screen real quick and get to this one. Let's talk about the mortgage rates. All right. So mortgage rates right now are at 6.32. Last month, they were at 6.65. Doesn't seem like much, but they did go down, uh, which looks like a couple tenths of a point. 
And that's always a good thing because every time the interest rate goes down, your uh, buying power goes up, right? So uh, let's take a look and see where the interest rates might be heading. So uh, let's go to number six, uh, number 67, this one right here. So these are just opinions of uh, different uh, banking industries and things like that. So second quarter of uh, 2023, which is now, uh, 6.6 .6 and um, let's see, MBA was uh, 6.1 and National Association of Re Realtors 6.3 for an average of 6.3. Today we're sitting at 6.32. Uh, so they're predicting the next quarter and the fourth quarter and the beginning of next quarter of 2024. So if you were to wait, yes, the interest rates do appear to be dropping based on their projections. However, um, a home price keeps going up, right? We saw that in the median sales price, it went up almost $40,000 in one month. And so this is the projection of where 30 year fixed rates might be heading here. Um, 6.1, 5.7, 5.3. And who knows, maybe the beginning of next year, January, February, March or so, they might be in the low fives. So we have to wait for a few things to kind of pan out. Uh, but right now you're sitting at, 6.32 and let me just stop my screen share again okay so there you have it for the month of april 2023 state of the market if you have any questions at all please feel free to give me a call for those who know me my door is always open give me a call at 508-566-0051 or shoot me an email at sjzano at gmail.com we want to thank you so much for watching another episode of State of the Market. We appreciate all the calls and texts and emails and suggestions. And uh, we uh, we strive to do the best that we can for all of you and so that we can try to all make the best educated uh, decisions so that you're the smartest person at the closing table, right? So thanks again. Talk to you soon. Catch you next month. Have a good day. Bye-bye.